Hey everyone, in this video we will discuss the left anti-join uh, in Power BI. So we are talking about when we do a merge join in the Power Query Editor. Uh, and let's say we just want the value which is in table A on the left side of the join, but doesn't exist in table B. So only values which are very are only in, ta in table A. And if there's any corresponding value found in table B, then that value is not shown in the result set. So that's called a left anti-join. So I've got this. Uh, let's just quickly uh, zoom in and see what's going on. So you can see here, I've got a table. So the left table is a customer table. Got customer ID, customer name and location ID. And then on the right, we have uh, a location table, which has a location ID and location name. So let's say I just want to find, okay, this person who exists in customer table and the corresponding the record doesn't exist in the location table. So maybe I just want to see, hey, is there a customer who, uh, who doesn't have a location in the location table? So then maybe I can go and insert that value. That could be one use case. So uh, that you can use left anti-join. So here, if I say the left table is the customer table, of customer ID, customer name, location ID, and the right table is the location table, which is location ID and location name. And the joining key for me is the location ID. So you can see uh, I've done this Venn diagram. So it's only the values which exist in table A should go through. If those values uh, overlap with the values on the right hand table, it should not go through. So you can see I've got location ID one. Uh, location ID one exists in location table. Location ID two exists here as well. Location ID three is in England, it exists. Uh, location ID four, it exists as well. It's outer space, but it does exist. But if you look at location ID five, now that I can't find the location ID five here. Location ID six exists, so that's out. And location ID seven exists in this table, which any case will not go if you use the left anti join. So here, when you see uh, Bob, Bob is the only person and his record goes into uh, the output or the result set of an anti join. So let's quickly do this. Uh, let me bring the power. So I've got the power query file here. And what I'll do is I'll uh, reach out to me if you want to access this and I can give you with the link uh, to the file so you can play around. So let's say I've got, let's open power. So I'm in power BI desktop. I'll open power query editor. So we'll hit transform data on the home tab and it opens the power query editor for us. And so I've got these two table and now on the home tab, I'll go to merge queries. And I'll say merge queries as new. I'll keep the customer table as the left hand table. I'll use location ID as the joining field and I'll join it to the location table on location ID. And for the join type, I will say I want uh, left anti join. And uh, we've only rows in only in the, so it says only, rows only in the first table. And then I'll hit OK. And when I do that, so it creates a new table. So we'll call it left anti join maybe. And hit enter. Now it's called left anti join for, um, um, and then what I'll do here is let's just um, take location. ID. So let's just uh, take location ID out. We'll keep the location name. And obviously it's null because it doesn't exist in this table. And that's the reason we've got it. So let's hit save. So it's apply here, yeah, that's what we want. So you can see that the left uh, anti-join table is now available to us. And it, it has obviously, like we were discussing, it only has one record, it was five pop. So in this video, we've discussed the left anti-join and one of the use cases uh, of the left anti-join that maybe you want to highlight uh, if a specific record is missing in uh, one of the dimension tables. So you could, you could probably do a left anti-join. So I hope you find this video useful and thanks for watching this video. Uh, please do subscribe to my channel and like my videos if you enjoy what I'm doing. Uh, let me know if you would like me to take any specific topics. Cheers. Bye.